we were very shocked and, and bitterly disappointed at the, not so much at the, the ban, because I think we all, you know, I think everyone has seen it, what had happened, and, and none more so than ourselves. And Louis, in all fairness, was, uh, you know, was very open and honest to, to know that it, it was wrong what he did. I think it's the severity of the ban which is, which is hurt most. Um, and that's something that we're, we're bitterly disappointed in. This is a guy that's been genuinely tried to, to curb his behaviour and change his, all his natural instincts from, his, from a young boy growing up where he's, his mentality has been about winning. And he's grew up in a country, in an environment where it's about survival. And, and this year for me, he's done a brilliant job of that. And I've seen that close hand, which is why I've uh, been always at the forefront of looking to defend him. And whenever he hasn't, him and I have spoken and he's, he's understood that. I, I can't help but look at it and, and look at the, the sanction that's been put on Louis for the incident. And I honestly feel that the punishment has been against the man rather than the incident. That's my underlying feel, feeling in it all. It was violent conduct. The football club admitted it. Louis admitted it. He understood he needed to, to be punished. But I think what we've got is we've got a punishment with absolutely no intention towards helping a rehabilitation of the player.